Salam guys, I hope everybody's doing fine. In this video, I'm gonna help you to prepare for the interview that you might have to go through with the university if you don't have an English test, whether it's IELTS or TOEFL or Duolingo, whatever, there are some universities that offer this opportunity to go through an interview if you don't have an English test. Universities, whether it's in Pol whether in Poland or Austria and England, whatever, there are universities that offer this opportunity. So in this video, I'm gonna help you to prepare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the main question that they might ask you. I'm gonna give you some advices and guidelines. And for those people who already have an English test, most of, most probably you, you don't need to go through an interview. You, you, you just need to apply with with your test. So for those people, in a few weeks, I'm gonna give you new offers, new destination that you might you can apply for. And in a few, in one or two months, I'm gonna make you a, a, a new video. And there are some new uh, offers that I'm gonna be present to you um, regarding studying in in Poland, in Austria, and England some other countries that where you have the positive where you have the possibility to go through an interview don't forget to follow my instagram and if you like the video uh don't forget to comment to like to subscribe and to click on the notification button so let's start the first the first thing that i would like to tell you uh is that you take that very 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 seriously last last year um, we helped students apply for Polish universities that offered this uh, the possibility to go through an interview, and uh, we helped them. I, 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 I made interviews myself with them to, in order to help them uh, prepare the, for the interview before having the interview with the universities. And what, I, what I've noticed is that some, most of the students, don't take it seriously. Just, just to tell you a story. There's one student I. I helped to uh, with the interview, and the day he he uh, we 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 scheduled the, the 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 time and day for the interview, and that day, when when we started having a meeting, and he was at the beach. When I called him, the his friend answered, and he was like, uh, oh, "Hold on for a minute. He's 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 swimming. He's swimming over there. Uh, let me let me call him. Hey, Mo, 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 come here, come here. This this guy trying to call you, and he comes shirtless without a t-shirt. Oh, hey, I'm here. I'm uh, help, help me now. Uh, help me. How how do I? How the hell would I help someone without a damn shirt? Whatever. So." Uh, he was not prepared, and he was at the beach. Was uh, he was short, shirtless? Um, whatever. He didn't take it seriously, and he got refused by the university because uh, he thought that just by making the interview with me, just by me trying to help him, he's gonna pass and he's gonna succeed the interview with the university, which which is not the case. There's a certain amount of effort that you have to put in order to pass an interview. With the university well let's start with the with the advices and question uh you will probably go through if you um if you pass an interview well the first question all the universities or schools will ask you on the interview is to introduce yourself well if you if you screw this up if you screw this question of introducing yourself you most probably will be denied. You'll be refused most probably because if you don't have the ability to introduce yourself, you're gonna give the impression that you don't have the language level required. So I believe that it's very easy to train yourself to introduce yourself. You can say your name, your age, your where you're from, what did you study, and Try to be simple, try to be fluent, and even if you don't have the, 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 a strong language um, skills, you, you, can, you can practice. It's easy to practice how to introduce yourself. My name is blah, blah, blah. I study at the University of blah, blah, blah. I have 22 years old, and I'm an engineer, in petroleum engineer. I'll give you an example. My name is Saeed DZ Travel, whatever, and... Um, uh, I have tw I'm 20 I'm 28 years old and uh, I have a, a master degree in petroleum engineering and then I, I was um I was a formal petroleum engineer in a multinational company 
That's easy. I mean, it's it's not that hard to introduce yourself, and then they will ask you a question like, why did you choose um, why did you choose the university? You need to make some research about the university you're applying for before having the interview. Otherwise, you're gonna look like someone that don't care. So you need to. You say, I love, made some research about the university, I love the location, I love the infrastructure, uh, and, and, and it seems like you have a good education uh, programs, and, and I love the program that you're offering, and I would like to be a part of the university. I mean, it's not that hard, it's two, three, four sentences that you need to learn, it's not that hard. Then they will ask you, why? why did you apply for this specific program so in this case most of the cases you they, they will ask for the, this question because the person that will be interviewing you is probably the chief of this program he needs to know if this student really wants to study of the or this student only needs to get a visa to get the hell out of his country so he needs to know that so you can say if if you don't seem like someone that that made some research about the program that is, that is really interested in the program, you will probably be denied. So you need to make, you make some research about the program and if you're applying for instance for, um, for a, a, a master or a bachelor degree in, in me mechanics, whatever, you need to learn about the program, what are the modules that are offered, and you need to say, I, I, I read the program, I love the modules that you are offering, like this module and this and this, it will allow me to learn that and that, and, for, uh, and it will allow me in the future to be great engineer in mechanics in multinational company or create my own company and these modules and the skills that, that that i will learn from this program would allow me to get the skills necessary to open my own business in that specific field and it will help me most probably in, in my success it's not it's not that hard to learn that and um you you say it the way uh, I mean the easiest way possible, but you need to be you you need to have your ling your body language talking with you. It's not like someone who's reading out something him something he learned uh, uh, just to you for the interview. Like I will I will I want to purpose this program because I love I liked it I like this program I like this module whatever. This is it's not showing that you are really spontaneously talking you need to like you know i love this program i love this module and this module will allow me to, to learn that that you need your body language and, and and your and your fluent talking will make them uh convinced that you are really interested in that so other questions they will ask you uh, about your background so you need to know where is your background when they tell you what did you study and uh, uh, what did you do in life uh, besides studying? Uh, you need to you need to prepare yourself to give the fluent answers. Like I have a bachelor degree, I have a bachelor degree or a master degree, or in petroleum and biology and whatever. I I I, I worked as an engineer in this company for for this amount of years or this amount of months, and I learned that. And now I want to study that because I don't have, I still have, I still don't have these skills that will allow me to create my own business or whatever. So you make it at your sauce. You do, you, you don't need to learn everything I'm saying. I'm just giving you ideas, right? And the most, you know, um, the most uh, common question they might ask you is what are your hobbies or interests in life in general? Um, and you need to know what are your interests. You don't say, I don't have interests. Please don't say that. You say, I love photography, I love music, I love blah, whatever. But you need to know, if you, if you say, I, have, I, I love reading books, 
If you say, I love reading books, for instance, they will ask you, what's the last book you read? What was it about? What's, who's the author? So they will, they will ask you details about the, the, the answers you, you're giving. So when they, you say, I love football, I play football, they will ask you if you play amateur, you're professional, what league you're playing in, or you play on a regular basis, do you play on weekends, on every day? They will ask you these kind of questions. So you need to prepare yourself to give details about the, the, your, your hobbies and interests, right? So you need to prepare yourself for that. This is really important. And there's, there's something I want to tell you. you when you're applying for a master and, or a bachelor degree uh, and you're passing an, in, an English interview to prove your English skills, it's different because the questions are, mo uh, are, are most of the time different than when you're applying for a foundation year or for, or for a proprietary English program. For instance, when you're preparing, when you're applying for an English proprietary program, which is a, a year or so, a couple of months where, where you will study English, the, 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 the questions are easier, the questions are easier. They won't ask a question about the, uh, the, 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 the speciality you're applying for, which is, which is not a speciality because you're applying to study, to learn a little bit of English. So they will ask you more about, you know, uh, easy question that you, you, you will find easy to prepare if you give time for it. So uh, if, you apply, if you're applying for a preparatory year, the, the question will be present yourself. Why did you apply for the university? What do you know about this country? Uh, what are your hobbies and interests in general? Uh, tell me more about yourself and uh, why would you choose you? And those kind of questions, easy questions you can prepare for. When you're applying for a bachelor or a master's degree, and the question will be the same and there will be additional question about the speciality, your background, and what do you wanna do in the future? Those are the main questions and there will be the most probably the last question they will ask you, they will, they will tell you, um, what well, what are your career perspectives? What well, what are your goals? Your your goals, your purpose in life uh, after you get this degree, after you finish this program. When you're applying for preparatory year, they will ask you, um, what you what will you do after you finish this uh, preparatory year? So you need to know what what you want to apply for. So you need to say after I finish the preparatory program, I will get the some English uh, skills and it will apply for a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in this specific field. When you're applying for a master's degree or bachelor's degree in mechanics, biology, whatever, you need to say, uh, you need to know what you want to do in the future after you get your degree. So um, give an uh, answer. Um, you, when you give an answer, you need to be have some information about it. So you need to say, if you choose to say, I want to work for an international company in this field, you need to give example about some of the most, uh, some of the companies you want to work for. It's easy to make some research to say, this company, I would like to love, I would like to work for this company because they develop that, 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 and that, and the salary is good, whatever. If you say, I want to create my own business, you say, I want to create my own business in this field, in this program, will, have, will allow me to get the skills necessary to create a business in this field. And this, in this, in this specific business I want to create, I want to do that. I want to offer this service. I want to offer this product. Whatever you need to give details, right? So, those are the questions. I, will I helped you. I give you some guidelines. I will give you. I, I give you some guidelines and a little bit uh, of clarification about what you can have uh, in those interviews, right? So. The rest is yours to prepare and I wish you good luck and I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope they helped you out. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment or whatever, right? Take care of yourself. Peace.